In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to see members in a Microsoft Teams group. Whether you're new to Teams or just haven't had the chance to explore all the features, this guide will walk you through the process of viewing participants with ease. Before we dive into the steps, let me give you a brief overview of why this might be helpful. Knowing who's part of a conversation in Teams can be incredibly useful for managing projects, keeping track of communication, and ensuring everyone involved is on the same page. First, you'll need to ensure that you are logged in to your Microsoft Teams account. If you don't have it open already, go ahead and open Microsoft Teams on your computer. Once you're at the Microsoft Teams homepage, take a moment to familiarize yourself with the layout. You'll notice various options on the left side of the screen, which is your navigation pane. This pane helps you easily access different areas such as activity, chat, teams, and more. Now, let's head over to the lower left corner of the navigation pane where you will find the chat icon. This is where your personal and group conversations are housed. Go ahead and click chat. This will bring up a list of all the ongoing chats you've had. Find the particular group you're interested in. If you have a lot of conversations, you might want to use the search bar at the top to quickly locate it. Once you've selected the chat you want, focus your attention on the top right corner of the chat window. Here, you'll find an icon that says View Participants. This is what you need to click to see all the members of the group chat. Clicking this option will open a sidebar on the right, displaying everyone who's part of the conversation. You'll see the names, status, and potentially the roles of each participant, depending on how detailed your organization's settings are. And that's it. Super easy and simple. By following these steps, you can always ensure that you're aware of everyone participating in a conversation. This can be especially handy in professional settings where project groups are common and knowing your team is crucial for effective collaboration. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, feel free to share it with anyone else who might be interested in enhancing their Microsoft Teams experience. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more tips and tricks on using Microsoft Teams and other productivity tools.